The other four have been better retrospective, transforming feedback into change. Okay, dude. All right. Okay. 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 Maybe I can read it. How about you suck my cock? All right. No, I'm reading this shit, bitch, because otherwise, how am I going to deep dive each individual aspect? It's, it's too hard. Okay. On the weekends of March 17th and 24th, Sanctuary let out a cry for help. A cry that would be answered by hordes of wanderers who rode uh, in on Nameless Horse and loosened the littlest grass in Sanctuary. During early access and open beta weekends, <laughs> what the fuck? these players sent countless demons back to the Burning Hills, gained powerful gear, and saw a little of this grand plot to begin uh, to unfold before them. Many of these players, uh, who also took the time to leave valuable feedback on our official Diablo 4 forums, and players such as Reddit and Discord. After the early access and open beta weekends concluded, the development team wrote through all of your feedback and reviewed the gameplay data. Using this information, we've made a variety of fixes and updates to various systems in Diablo 4, all of which will be present in the version of the game that launches on June 6th. Damn, bitch. Uh, none of this be possible without you. Uh, without the, with, none of this be possible without the community, dedication, and love for the Diablo universe. To which we say thank you for being a beta tester for free. Actually, you paid us. But we paid them to pay to test their game. That's how we roll, boy. What can we say? All right. Dungeons. Dungeon layouts. All right, here we go. So, yeah, dungeons felt quite dog shit, repetitive, unreplayable, annoying as fuck. You know, you had to kill all the fucking monsters. You had to click the fucking things. You had to run around. Okay, so let's see here. What are they, they going to do here? One of the most common pieces of feedback we received is that the players felt that they were doing a lot of backtracking with certain dungeons. We have optimized multiple dungeons across uh, all zones to minimize the need for backtracking. Here's a list of the dungeons specifically in the Fragile Peak Zone, which see layout updates. Caldera Gate, Defiled Catacombs, Terelic Lodge, Forbidden City, Hall Forest Demise, Immortal Imnation, Quad Dragon Barracks, More Wood, Rhyme Scar Caverns. Develop a note. Our primary goal with the layout changes was to reduce certain kinds of backtracking which uh, distract from a player's experience. Example of this change is that players previously needed to enter uh, side rooms to interact with uh, structure objects, causing them to uh, retreat the same path. Now many of our structured uh, objectives have been repositioned along the main dungeon pathways, making them easier for players to reach allow them to readily explore the dungeon after defeating the structure. Hmm. Look at the one I'm thinking of. The one you go into that one dungeon and you're in like, hmm. So I don't think it's in that list, the one I'm thinking of. The one that, like, the the, the, the two, you take the block to the block and then the other block to the block. I feel like that had a different name. I feel like it didn't, didn't that have a different name? I don't remember the names. I don't remember the names, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, okay, dungeon events. The chance for an event to spawn inside of a dungeon has been increased from 10% to 60%. Oh, shit, okay. All right, that's a lot of events. Dungeon gameplay. Um, to reduce the need for backtrack, a small number of straggling monsters will seek out the player to help complete the kill all monsters objective. What? Wait, so they come and they they chum to you? Hey, what the fuck is that? Okay, small numbers of strangling monsters will seek out the players. So, okay, so if you leave a mo so wait, does that mean there's gonna be a meta strategy to like do the one where you have to kill them mobs and then you just don't and you just whatever you aim the most of the pack and then you just leave the rest because you know it'll come to you anyway. Uh, when you're going, I can't find the last imp. To be fair, that, those ones are annoying. They were annoying. So, yeah. When Animus is gathered, the player and nearby allies will gain 10 resources to reduce all active goals by one second. Okay. Depositing Animus channel time reduced from 3 to 0 seconds. Damn. The rescued, uh, 
The time to rescue was reduced from 3 to 1.5 seconds. All rescue objectives now drop a health potion upon completion. While carrying an ancient statue, bloodstone, mechanical box, and stone carving, you will receive a momentum bonus granting 25% movement speed to you and all nearby allies. <laughs> okay. You can run faster when you get the box. Okay. Speed negration. <laughs> fucking around, dude. Okay. Pestles have had their channel time reduced from 2 to 0 seconds. So that's just instant. Okay. Okay. To be fair, that's fine. I'm fine with all these strangers, right? You get the thing. You put the thing on the fucking pestle. It doesn't really make sense. Why would it take... Why would it take so long? Uh... What's the point of this? Move the boring system. What's well, to change you... To change the way you clear the dungeons, right? To increase replayability. That's their logic. Which... I think maybe it does help. I think it does help if you're different to do slightly different things in different places. But yeah, they are making it quite easy, but that's, I mean, it's fine, because it's like, all that shit was just like, okay, you have to just carry the thing, and you're just running with this thing. And why don't, wait. Why don't they give me strats where you pick up the mechanical box, and then you just clear with it to keep the 25% MSB bonus? You know, especially if there's super high clear, like, dungeons and stuff, you could just use that 25% MSB bonus as a, uh, like, as, as a strat. Um, returning a portable object to its pedestal now uh, fully restores health, resource potions, and resets cooldowns for all nearby players. What the fuck? This sounds abusable, mate. I mean, I'm just thinking in terms of high GRs, right? Oh well, I guess it adds extra mastery to the game. All doors will now generate a mini map ping when they are opened. Okay. All structure objectives and dungeons now have additional combat mechanics players must overcome. Was that gonna be like a mini boss? What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, our dungeons offer a variety of objectives to compete. Uh, complete player feedback stated that the action of completing each objective felt tedious. We heard that the providing bonuses such as uh, the increase in mobility and carrying certain objective items that will streamline the very the experience of completing objectives. This adjustment is merely a starting point. We intend to extend this philosophy to keys in the future update. Okay. Classes. Oh, here we go. Some barb nerfs, boys. Let's go. Effects like stun and uh, freeze can be applied to elite monsters twice as long before they become unstoppable. Wait, that's a thing? They can become unstoppable? Wait, that seems like an OP build. Right? You've got that fucking one unique that gives you, like, giga damage to unstoppable enemies, and then you just go some shit that s freezes them and forces them to be unstoppable, and then you get a huge damage bonus. Right? Like, what the fuck? Let's think about that. Wait, I, when did I say Bob was bad? You're you're a moron. You're loosely a moron. Review class to uh, review class skills to confirm that all classes have access to sufficient skills to remove crown control bearing effects. Okay. Many legendary powers have had updates to their effectiveness. Ooh, nerfs, dude. Nerfs. Hopefully. Wait, what, what? Do you think they can say they've removed multipliers? I don't think they have, Chad, to be honest. A flat 10% passive damage reduction has been added for the Barbarian class. Whatever. Some skill reviews have had their damage reduction fitness reduced to compensate. Okay, good, good. I was going to say, that sounds fucking ridiculous. Uh, the world skill now deals more damage and consumes more fury. Why does that sound like a buff? Why, why, do, why do I just see them uh, people overcoming the fury fucking problem like almost instantly and then just make that just as way more damage than it already was? <laughs> you know, like, that's, uh, I don't know, Devil Swing uh, Enchantment refunds its fury cost when used on stun and upgrade kick down enemies. Okay, Druid. Oh, wow. Companion skills now deal heavily increased damage. Wait, they must have nerfed the companion legendaries though, right? Because I tried the companion build. It, it, that shit was like the best single target build I had. What the fuck? Wait, what? Chat, what the fuck? It was already really good. It was already really good. Uh, Once you had the uniques. The Claire was mid, but the single target was insane. So, I mean, now it's going to be... 
I mean, maybe the clear's gonna be great and the single target's gonna be broken now. All ultimate skills have had their cooldowns reduced. Usability improvements have been made to maul and pulverize. Oh. Oh. Oh, what do you reckon? Do you reckon they fucking change that stupid fucking talent, which is like, your next ability overpowers after you've got to 17 stacks or some shit, and you have to, like, you're constantly, like, trying to look at your stacks to see how many stacks you've got? Um... Uh, Mmm, interesting. Using a non changing skill will transform Druid back into the human form. Okay. Yeah, I already did that. Wait, I already did that. I guess there were some abilities that didn't do that. Necromancer, summon minions will now... Uh, I don't like how vague these changes are. I wish they would t give us the specificity. So I want I want to know exactly like what was changed. Like, I want to know. Like, what does that mean? Heavily increased damage. Does that mean they're just... Like, what does that mean? Like, what the fuck? I mean, whatever. I'm pretty... Chat, by the way, I'm probably... I'm thinking pretty hard about going Druid, so... Like, I'm thinking pretty hard about going Druid. I think it was my... I, th I think it's my favorite. I, I think Druid is my favorite. Necromancer, some minions will uh, die more often, requiring players to utilize corpses more often. Oh, get fucked, bozos. Many points in the Book of the Dead uh, have their stats increased. Oh, shit. Okay. The damage dealt by cause explosion has been reduced. The brightness of the scale of warriors and mages has been reduced. Thank God, dude. That that is like such a big one. Cause that one just ruined my immersion. It ruined the vibe. They should just have no brightness, bro. That that glow, like just remove all that that whole fucking blue glow vibe that's going on. Remove that, and just go bone. Just go bone. It looks cool when they're dark, like bone guys. Like imagine like, and you're in a fucking dark area, chat. What's scarier? You're in like a cave. And you can't see shit. And then this the whole thing lights up blue and this fucking glowing blue guy like runs up to you. Versus like out of the shadows, you see like a skull. And the the rest of his fucking body's obscured. You can't see it, and then you see it's a fucking guy with a sword, he's about to slit your fucking throat, you know? Like it's completely way better, dude. The the one where like the one with no brightness is way cooler. But maybe it's a playability thing. Maybe it's makes it easier to see your skeletons or something. I don't know. Fuck still. I go to say your skills have had their bonus increase, multiple passive had their bonus increase, and human skills have had their cooldowns increased. Oh shit. Oh, here we go, sorcerer. Charge bolts damage was increased. And the mana cost to the cast has been decreased. Okay. Decreased the damage of chain lightning and reduced the effectiveness against bosses. Oh shit. Uh decrease the cooldown of incinerate enchantment bonus. Firewalls will now spawn underneath enemies more frequently when using the enchantment bonus. Increased lucky hit for the media skills enchantment bonus. Bro, it seems like there's all the OP, like all the rogue OP shit didn't get nerfed. They didn't mention the part about the necromancer that's invulnerable. Um, they didn't fucking touch on the fact that barbs uh, literally have damage multipliers that get them to like the fucking hundreds of thousands of damage. They they did they nerfed shit that people weren't even using them, Sork. Like, I don't even understand what's happening here. Maybe they're just not including that shit in these patch notes? What the fuck? Whenever we introduce classes, uh, changes to our classes, it's with the goal of making both them and their skills feel impactful and powerful. Your feedback has helped us uphold this ideal. Simple as if it deeply noticed certain skills were too powerful, one of our goals was skills to have them interesting, wield, interactive, in terms of animation and combat feel. Made some changes that help the disregard with uh, one example of the Necromancer's minions. Made a change that makes them more vulnerable in combat, which means raising the dead will be a more active component of Necromancer's gameplay. Uh, this sounds like AIDS. <laughs> your, pit, your pits are gonna die constantly, guys. <laughs> fuck, fuck that, holy shit. Uh, launch the first ever Clans Mouse journey and you can expect further updates. Alright, UI! This is a big one. Fix an issue where built-in screen reader was not reading key prompts, game options, details. That's a, that's a criticism that I had. Okay, that's good. Fix an issue where actions uh, could not be bound to the mouse wheel. Okay, that's good. Fix an issue where evade can be bound to the right analog stick on a controller. Okay. Chat will now display on the left side of the screen when using the centered action bar configuration. Uh, a character stats will now be displayed by default when players click on the materials and stats button within the inventory. 
A what? Why can't we just have an option to have it on all the time, bro? What the fuck? Moving and direct inputs can now be mapped to one button while primary attack input is mapped to a secondary button. Thank God. Thank God. The sans serif font used in game has been replaced with a new serif font. Oh my god, dude, the game saved, guys. Holy shit, the font's upgraded. Whoa! Encounters fixed multiple issues that allowed bosses like the butcher to become unresponsive. Oh, uh, yep, that happened to me many, many times. The butcher has been reevaluated for difficulty and will present a greater challenge in, in world tiers at three and four. I mean, we don't know how much. I guess it was undertuned. I guess it was. I guess it was undertuned. In the higher tier, thanks. I mean, we didn't get to do that, so I have no idea why that. Yeah, interesting. I mean, they could have just not added that into this patch note, and we would have known. But all right, cool. Regardless, bosses such as Torch and Manlock and Beanhard and others will be reevaluated for melee characters difficulty. Setting a changes uh, to attacks and fight mechanics. Oh, get fuck range bozos. Are those, are those those stupid fucking ones with the backpedaling fucking harpy bitches? Is is that is it like the is it that one? Like the one you know what I'm talking about, right? Those stupid the succubus, those stupid ass succubus motherfuckers. But what's the bo What's the boss fight where the chick is dying and she spawns waves of these guys? Which boss is that? Is that one of these bosses? You know, the little girl's mother. She Veenhard? Okay, thank God. Thank God. If that's Veenhard, then GG. Because that one was just awful for Melee. Like, awful. Oh, it's aw And then you do it on range, and it's like a trivial joke. Like, I, I, you know, speaking person who played all the characters, like, yeah, that was just like, that really showed off how imbalanced it was. Fiction issue where vampire brutes using shadow uh, enchant apex, which thing is you don't want to make everyone's experience exactly the same, right? You, there should be bosses that are harder for melee and easier for range, and vice versa though. But generally speaking, what happens is almost always, for whatever reason, they put in a bunch of melee mechanics, and there's like two range mechanics, and then range just avoid all the melee mechanics, and they have to do like two mechanics. All right, it's it's generally literally eight times out of ten, range is easier than melee for mechanics on bosses. Just because there's an entire dimension added into the game for melee where they have to actually be next to the monster to be um, doing damage to it, whereas the ranged person can be literally anywhere on the screen. Uh, you know, obviously they just did make things that deliberately target people who are away from the boss that don't target melee, right? They, need, they just need to make things like that, which the like, mechanics that only range have to deal with, that melee just ignore. So, you, you, you know, you, like for every cunty melee boss, there needs to be a cunty range boss. They're buffing the butcher. No, they're buffing the butcher in, in, in Torment 3 and 4, which I'm guessing it was too easy. Okay, fix an issue where vampire brutes using the shadow enchant effect would chain cast and pale. Interesting. Sellers, increased chance for a dungeon event to occur to sellers. Sellers now consistently reward a chest upon completion. Fix an issue uh, where sellers would prematurely be marked as complete. Interesting. Fix an issue where the guaranteed elite monster would be absent from the cellar. So I'm just going to sell her and it's like three mobs in there and you kill it and it's over. It's like, what? Okay. A lot of these things just seem like basic balance and bug fixes. I'm going to be honest here, chat. Uh, what do we got here? General quality of life. Fix an issue where players could increase attack speed by move canceling attacks early. Thank God, dude. Holy. That was going to be... Well, what, what was going to happen is if that was a uh, issue... In the game, I would just uh, have just macroed it, right? Like, let's be real. You just turn on the turbo key, boys. <laughs> you just log in. You just turn on the turbo key. Call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that. <laughs> I was not going to uh, give myself RSI. Fix uh, <laughs> issue where characters uh, weren't immune and untargetable after loading into an area. Oh, there we go. Yo, get a crip. Get fucked, bozo. It was the fucking, oh, they're gonna aggro bears to the doorway, bro. You're dead. Like, okay, that's good that they did. They fixed that, though. The reset dungeon button has been disabled. Mm, that's good. That's good, I think. 
That's good. It means there is the game's a lot replayable. What are you gonna say? People will always do what is most efficient. If it is the most efficient, okay, there was a meta in Diablo 3 where the most efficient way to play the game was to literally talk to a fucking NPC who'd like walk into a house and then you talk to her again and then you would leave the game and start again and then you do it again and then you do it again and you do this, you would just sit there doing that all day because it was the most XP per hour and they'll just do that, right? So if it is the, if it is the best XP per hour to just repeatedly farm the same thing for hours and hours and hours on end, that's going to result in a shit uh, replayability factor, right? The whole point is that now you're going to be forced to like go out and do different dungeons, right? Although, wait, how, what other ways have we got free? Because because the thing is, end game is already going to be that, right? Because you're going to have to go from keystone to keystone to keystone. You're not going to have to repeatedly farm the same thing, so. Yeah. No, I, th I think, I, 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 I feel that. I feel that. I get that. Fair enough. I'm, I'm, that's respectable change. I don't, I don't think, I think that's probably overall net positive. Ironically. Uh, okay, fix an issue that uh, caused Gale Valley and Sirac Rapture to have less monsters than attended during the campaign quest. Those stories were completed. Okay. Tune into the next Diablo developer update live stream. April 20th. That's five days from now, chat. And I will obviously be live streaming this shit. I will be, uh, I will, I will be reacting to this. Yo, I need to hit up Riker and see if I can get him to, like, check in a couple questions. Riker doesn't know who you are. That's literally, I literally played fucking tabletop games with them in real life. You're a bozo. Now, April 20th, 11 a.m., PDT, Joe Shelley, and Associate Director, Joseph Pifferiara, and Associate Director of Community, Anna Fletcher, accompanied by special guest host Riker, will return to Diablo 4 update live stream this time. Our group of Diablo 4 experts will uncover details about in game offerings and elaborate on the post open beta changes. Made two classes and dungeons. This is our thing here. Hail Lilith, bless mother, the Diablo team. There it is, boys. Um. Okay, let's see here. I mean, I think the dungeon layout changes are positive, but I don't know if this. I don't know. It's good. It's a. Po it's a step in the right direction, right? And then they, it sounds like they're trying to make dungeons less shit in general by making the like the boring, annoying shit less boring and annoying, right? Okay, so that's a W. That's a that's a W. Nothing nothing major though. Just all like kind of like many changes that are minor. That will probably add up to be something significant though. The class update seems sussy. They didn't they didn't mention anything about like broken multipliers on barbarian. They didn't mention anything about, um, yeah, what is many legendary powers. They didn't mention anything about damage multipliers on legendary items. Like, they, they, if anything, they said buffed it, right? Like, many legendary powers have been adapted. I think this is terrible, right? I obviously think this is terrible. And then they didn't mention any of the OP damage multipliers on the barb. Uh, they did actually mention some of the clunkiness of Druid, and they said they're buffing Druid. I don't know, that sounds okay. They, did, they don't mention, like, the permanent and vulnerable, like, necromancer build that everyone was running. They don't mention, like, the fact that rogues could literally kill a world boss in less than 60 seconds because they have a infinite, like, energy giga damage loop. Um, they nerfed stuff on Sorcerer that wasn't even the OP things on Sorcerer, which is like, what the fuck? I don't know, that's scary to me. Uh, UI, this is, um... Again, a very small step in the right direction, but... Like, they're not doing anything about the console UI here. And anything about the aesthetic of it. Which is cringe. I don't know, dude. That's cringe. Encounters? Uh, okay, so they just made the game. They made... The, that's, a, that's a small step in the right direction. Again, they made some buffs to some of the encounters. They made sellers. They buffed sellers, basically, and fixed bugs of sellers. And then, uh, you know, this change, I think, is good. Reset being disabled. I think that's probably a good change. Um, I think that the, the, the thing where you just sit there farming the same dungeon over and over again is boring. And, you know, being forced to go to a variety of different dungeons is good. So, uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, that's probably the biggest W change, I think, out of all of them. Uh, yeah. It's better than nothing, though, isn't it, chat? This is better than nothing. 100%. 
Like, what's chat's reaction now? After listening to that and reading that. What's chat's... They are listening, so yeah. Stockholm students in effect. Actual good feedback. Yeah, reset dungeon equals trash. Son of seven less. That's you're, you're doing that thing where you think you want it, but you actually don't. I don't know what to tell you, man. You need you need to. This is you right now. This is you. Okay. You need to just open up your eyes. Like, you're like no, but my OP strategy that I was using is nerfed. What the hell? You know the thing where I found the same dungeon for ten hours straight. Imagine if you could just repeatedly open the same heist map over and over and over again, seven seven less, like, and just do it over and over and over again. Just, it's not like a different one, it's just the same heist map. And you're just doing heist, you're just doing a heist map, the same exact heist map, over and over again. Now you're doing, imagine that, doing that for 10 days straight. Like, do you really want to do the same, no, you don't want to do the same heist map for 10 days straight. You don't. You'd rather, like, be forced into other different types of content. And then whenever you go to do the thing that you really liked, it will be really fun. I'm doing. I'm all for player choice and letting players do what they want. But like, if there's some cancer gameplay um, loop that is clearly the best, I think that should they should be addressed. And I feel like doing the same dungeon over and over again was. I think think it was a bad gameplay loop. Myself, and I, I don't really think I don't really think there's any argument. Like, no, we should let the meta be. Everyone just runs the same dungeon over and over again. I don't know, dude. That seems. Hmm. You did 250 Crimson Temples in a row? Well, you've got fucking... Something's wrong with you, mate. The thing is, you'll probably have to do that, right? You'll be able to farm out certain keystones for certain dungeons and then do them all at the same time. This is simply just for leveling and stuff. Um, Alk literally never, never left the dungeon entrance. He would zone out, zone in, and zone in, and zone out, zone in. Yeah, that's fucked. It's fucked. Now, now you're going to do like, okay, I'm going to do this dungeon, then that dungeon, then we'll go here, we'll do this, and you get different bosses, different environments, different varieties, different monster types, different uh, objectives. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, I, I, you know what I can see? I can see what it is. It's going to be a lot of autistic people who are upset because they don't like change. And the thing is, the game's not even fucking out yet, and you're already getting fucking triggered, which is crazy. What the fuck is this? Um, level of damage changes either. I got level 25 and didn't even do the story. Yeah, that's fucked. That's literally fucked. I'm not clicking that force clip, bro. Okay. Well. Pretty good. I mean, I honestly wasn't expecting anything. So. <laughs> the fuck? I, I, I wasn't expecting anything. So, this is better than nothing, in my opinion. No, I'm not, obviously I'm not, I'm not going, this is crazy, this has changed everything. Oh my god, it's more like, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know? Okay, that's pretty cool. People were mad uh, when they're strapped to reload the game until you got a bounty and a resplendent chest was nerfed. Yeah, they actually brain did. People, uh, unironically, they don't know what they want. They only think they want it because they think they have an advantage they can abuse, right? That's it. They're like, oh, I've got, I know this OP strategy that I can use it. Other people don't know, so I have an unfair advantage. That's it. It's literally, they, they, or they just like, they think they want something when they actually don't. Like, it's like, literally. What's this? Six Link! Because he is. God damn, damn.